I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. <sighs> she saw humanity. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Humanity is tortured, right? <sighs> and frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I can't in believe fact, I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Do that to me. But I like it old school. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I haven't kept up with my what journal as much as I should. Fact. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think?
capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him and your- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Even... I can hear the classic. And hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but huh. I also this might make a cool shot. This photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should oh, have totally. Their I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so... Sh Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. 
you always Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture in here. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. I hate